The 23-3 USD women's basketball team is up to number 23 in the AP 25, top 25 this week. And a big reason for that is their number 24, the latest and perhaps greatest from a Rapid City basketball Duffy family. Zach Borg has more on our Carl's TV and Appliance Athlete of the Week. Kira Duffy is a winner. In three years in Vermilion, the versatile forward has helped lead the Coyotes to more than 70 victories. I, I kind of like getting to getting to play a couple different positions. Uh, you know, it keeps things interesting and, and it's fun to hopefully kind of be able to fill whatever the team needs. You can see why winning is so important when you look at Kira's siblings. There's competition within the course of probably who gets to eat in that family because they have so many kids or family for those kind of things. All seven of them. But that kind of forced me to, to toughen up a little bit because they were definitely better than me. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it really, it helped me to develop my love of the game, but it also made me a lot tougher. The Duffy family has a long basketball tradition in South Dakota that dates back to Kira's grandfather at the University of Sioux Falls. Four older siblings all played in college too, including Caitlin at USC and Maura at USF. I loved growing up in a big family. I loved getting to, you know, do everything with my siblings, including playing basketball. We were never forced into it, but it was just kind of, we all wanted to be together and this was something that we could all kind of do together. Which helped make Duffy a champion and All-State star at St. Thomas More by, in many ways, combining all the talents of her sisters. She's really a prototype. She can play anywhere. She has a very high basketball IQ, but most importantly, she's a, as competitive a young lady as you're ever going to be around. It's helped her score more than 1,100 points in her career at USD and show that the best way to win. The one thing that I would love to be known for is being a good teammate. In the end, you don't really remember the specific wins and losses, but that those relationships are really what you're going to remember. It's to treat a team like a family. In Vermillion, Zach Borg, KDLT Sports.